Hello, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Prison Architect. We're in a dire situation here. That's uh, it's kind of frustrating. I've been dealing with it for uh, quite a while. Um, I'm going to put this back to 100 because I've been trying a lot of different things. So I've got staff breaks on 100, which, of course, really dampers everything in the prison. Um, a lot of times our cameras aren't being looked at now and people aren't in their patrol. And it's, it's kind of getting... It's a pretty dire situation because I don't know what it is. It's 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 always with the AI and the orderlies are no different here. They get stuck not just in the not just in the bathrooms. They actually get stuck on the wide sofas and stuff too. Sometimes they'll just get stuck standing in place. And all of them are like like all of them are hungry. Everyone has a huge hunger need. Right? Everyone does. And yet nobody is eating. There's a ton of food. Like, I've got over 200 meals in here. I even moved one of these benches out and replaced it with two additional serving tables. Nobody is eating. And that is causing them to not be happy. 140 staff have complaints. And it's not my fault. I'm giving you tons of food. But you're all, like, jammed in here. It's like this big traffic jam, and a bunch of you are just glitched to where you'll enter and then leave. You enter and then leave. You enter and then leave. And it's it's constant. I, I almost feel like I have to fire everybody and rehire, which is incredibly expensive, by the way. But I think I have to. I think I have to fire all my staff. Because some of them, they don't, they just go on break and then they come back out and then they go on break and then they come back out. And it's this constant back and forth where people are not actually doing things to help their needs. Like some of them are going ahead and eat, you know, some of them will eat, but the orderlies, right? They'll just rest. They won't do anything. They'll just rest. They won't move. They'll get stuck, right? Instead of eating, he's sitting here. He's, he's just stuck. So then I thought, okay, now it's increasing, which is nice. But then I thought, okay, why don't we make it to where only 85% of you can be on break? And that way, you know, maybe we'll make this area not so crowded, right? So then I thought, why don't we just take all of them and say, hey, how about, how about nobody's allowed to go on break? Go. And then everyone can go back to work. And maybe that will glitch them out. Maybe that will get them to where they actually go to work. And so far, like, everyone is going to start kind of dispersing right we get people dispersed they start to clear out of here they go to their post right everything is kind of looking okay the room is getting pretty empty okay cool now policy bring you back up to like say 85 go and what happens is a mad rush into the break room it doesn't fix anything so i feel like it's got there's got to be a balance i have to hit here just for a little while to where we only have some people going into the break room because Otherwise, this flow... Oh, wait! Oh, they're not glitched now! They're actually in the room, but are they going to eat? They were just, like, back and forth. It was like a hundred people just going back and forth. They wouldn't go into the room at all. And it, I may think, okay, well, maybe it's like, you know, the room isn't designated or something, but, like, it's, it is. And there's so much food here, so... I don't know what's going on. All I know is that orderlies get stuck doing... Uh, can I click him, please? They get stuck doing tons of things. And it's not just... It's not just, uh, toilets. So I think orderlies and staff only is... Or is staff needs. If you're gonna do criminally insane, don't do staff needs. That's the only thing I can think of. Because they glitch and they are... They're horrible. They glitch so bad. Okay. Uh, what have I done? Okay, so this right here, right now we've got free time for uh, these guys, but they're not allowed to go this way, and uh, they're stuck here, which is kind of the point. Um, I want most of them to kind of be able to do their free time and stuff, but these guys are adamant about leaving, and that's and phoning their family. Okay, so I need to provide more amenities in here. Um, let me get... 
I've, I, I've added these two bookcases because I figured maybe some of the stuff from the library might get moved into these bookcases. Not the case. So this seems to be kind of a waste. So why don't we just go ahead and, uh, you know what, we can just dump these. I'm not going to use them. So let's dump these. And we're going to set this area up. We got benches here for them to hang out in if they want to. This is all a common area. You know, maybe we can, uh, I don't know, go common room with this too. I don't know. It's like a why not kind of thing. Dump those, and then we'll replace these with phones. And maybe they can call home on these phones instead. Speaking of which, I think I want to get another... Uh, I think I want to get another phone tap. I have one in storage, but I don't really have a good place for it to be. Uh, let's move this armory. Let's move this table down. We'll stick the phone tap here, actually. There we go. And then we can also grab a chair. With that. And then let's make sure the... Not staff room. Um security because it would make too much sense to have that be the same color as the staff room or any sensible color at all what green okay so this is also the security room now and uh yeah so right now we're at 50 percent are allowed to go on break and maybe this is an okay mix to get them to keep eating I really don't know. I'm going to dump all of these trays because maybe this is like preventing them from sitting down and maybe they want to sit down in a certain seat. I, I don't know. Like it's, it's, I'm, I'm kind of running out of ideas on what's happening there. All right. Phone tap is installed almost. Okay. So we'll take this phone tap and connect it to all of these. And then I also need to phone tap the new visiting area. So the visitation for maximum. They now come through here. Come through these two metal detectors. And they are now in these booths. So prisoners on this side. Visitors on this side. They're in the booths now. The visitors are going to come in through this visitor door. Through this whole hallway. Down and through here. And then around this yard. And all the way over like this. So that's how the visitors have to get in to see... But it works. I mean, it's 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 gonna work. It's just uh, it's a little bit weird. But it definitely works. And this is all staff only. Yep. Uh, what else? What else was I gonna share? Um, okay. During free time, they do use this library. By the way, they come through here, and uh, they will come through here, and they will get in. They'll gr grab a book, and they'll go read it. Right. And so they they are using this. Um, I'm going to grab one sofa and just stick it in that corner. It's a nice little quiet, dark corner. Okay, so this is all. This logic gate is using. I was going to play around with other logic gates for this episode, and I might split this into two videos. Um, or, or maybe I'll just split this into two recording sessions. Because I, I was going to do this, but then this just keeps happening. And people are still not satisfying their needs. Uh, I am paying them the appropriate rate now. They don't say that they're underpaid. They're just unable. And it's a lot of these guys. Like this guy. He just walked in here. Realizes something. And then becomes stationed. Right? So then he goes to leave. To get to his station. But he's pissed off and moving super slowly. Right? So if I just watch the one guard. You'll see. He just. He doesn't do anything. You know? It's pretty bad. So another thing I want to try, uh, since we can, is we'll get this cactus right here. I'm just going to move it uh, maybe over here. And then I want to put a staff door here. And maybe giving them two doors. Where is it? Right here. Maybe giving them two doors will be all right. I, I don't know. Possibly. Oh, let's do the, let's do the hidden door because it's fun. Actually, maybe it's the freaking hidden door. I don't know. That's a new thing. Let's put a normal staff door in. I don't care. Give them another path that they can get in here through. And maybe they'll use a different door and that will fix it? I don't know. I'm running out of options here because these guys are just bundling up for no reason. They don't go on break. They don't do anything. 
there's plenty of spots to sit. I mean, you can see that they do sit, but they don't eat while they sit. And it's just... At this point, it's not my fault. That's all I'm going to say. It's, this is I've done everything I can. Look at how much food there is in here. You know? Like, there's, there's tons of food in here. They're just not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I think that means I just need to fire a bunch of them. Fire a bunch of guards. Fire everyone who's pissed off. Which, again, not my fault. But you refuse to come and eat. And that's your problem, not mine. You know? Dog handlers, too. Maybe if I fire enough guards. Dog handlers... Actually, dog handlers are easy to replace, aren't they? If I fire a bunch of dog handlers... You're on break and you're pissed off. Goodbye. Right? You're on break. Pissed off. Pissed off. Not eating. Not eating. Guard. Bye. Guard. Bye. I'm just going to have to mass fire people. Because there's no way to fix this. Unless I do. The only way to fix this is to get rid of everybody who's glitched out. Seems. And then if I switch people back to... I don't know, allowing like 80% to take breaks. That's going to allow more people to come in here. But as long as I don't have everybody jumbled up right here, maybe that fixes it. Orderlies are stuck on the couch again. It's like, what the hell? Yep, stuck in a rest loop. Get them out of here. So, like, I don't know what to do. Maybe I just give them benches here instead of the sofas? It... Because if I ever see an orderly sitting down, he'll, he will sit there indefinitely. Like, he will sit there. I know it seems like I'm just, like, getting him up. Well, he, he is still on break. He can sit there as long as he wants. Yeah, but he has other needs. If he was sitting here without a food need, then, you know, that's that sucks. I, I don't care. You're out of here. Goodbye. Staff morale is 65%. And now we're starting to get problems with people acting up because the orderlies are all taking breaks. I don't know, I'm working on it, guys. It's, um... Like, I don't... I don't... I don't like to complain about games, right? I don't like doing that. Because it kind of gives you... It gives the impression that I'm not having fun, and that's not entirely accurate. Um, but he's not working, so he can't get food. I gave him a cleaning cupboard to work in, and he's not working. Like, I gave him a cleaning cupboard he can work in. And I gave him a work regime. All right. I gave him two hours to work. He can get some money. No, he's not. He's not going to get the money. You know? I don't know. I can't get him to work, so he can't get his luxuries needs met. Um, he's eating just fine. You know? It's just this. This area here has been... A real bad time. And I'm not sure when it went bad. That's the thing. Like, I don't remember when it went bad. Are there radios in here? There shouldn't be, but there might be. Oh, I've got random bookshelves also in here, too. Just, like, next to where people sit. Thought maybe that might help their literacy need, too. I don't know. The mail's starting to pile up, but that's mostly a staff problem. Just having staff bugged out is causing them to not deliver mail. And this is like a one thing leads to another sort of situation right now where now we're going to get deaths. Again, just more deaths. So, yeah, I just we got a couple of glitches, a couple of bugs that I can't figure out how to fix and I'm hoping for solutions. And that's kind of making it... Uh, it's making it unnecessarily difficult to manage this prison. Staff morale is still dropping. That was got that guy was playing a game. I shouldn't have stopped him. It's making it unnecessarily difficult to manage this. Maybe we go back to 50%. I don't know. Like if I go 100%, then like pretty much everyone that has needs tries to come here at the same time and then they all glitch out. You know? So I think what really needs to happen is I just need to do a full staff wipe. Wipe all staff, bring them all back, and hopefully they're not glitched. So I'm going to save it here, and uh, we're going to do that. 
I'm gonna fire literally everyone. Every single person is fired. And then we'll rehire them all, which is incredibly expensive. And I'll probably have no money at the end of this. But hopefully they're not glitched. And we can proceed with, you know, actually doing things uh, well. So I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I fired everybody. 100% morale now. <laughs> fired everybody. And uh, I brought them all back. Uh, and now pretty much nobody has tasers. And I knew that was going to happen. So... Full disclosure, I did cheat myself some money to do this because I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's my fault. <laughs> and I needed to do it fast, obviously. So, um, I did cheat myself some money to do this. Um, we're up to 51 grand, but don't worry. I know that's more money than I had when we, when we left to, to fire people. But this money is meant for the guards to get their tasers back. So, we have the programs... Come down here. I have guard taser certification running constantly until all the guards can get their tasers back all in one day. Uh, at that point, unless I did my math wrong, and I might have, um, we should be back down to roughly what we would have had profit-wise. You'll also notice that daily cash flow is actually lower now than it was before. I imagine that's probably because of the increase in programs that I have for this. But um, either way... It doesn't seem like everybody's glitched, although the, the orderlies still are. But um, it doesn't seem like everyone's pissed off yet. So I'll monitor this. I got to see what happens here. But uh, as long as it, it's this, all this happened, I think, because of the toilet change. I really do. I think it's because every guard had a to-do list and they were all moving them over here and then having to move them all back throughout the entire prison the whole time. And um, it kind of pissed everybody off at the same time, especially with when the orderlies happen. It's not so much this task, I don't think, although that was a lot of guard tasks to do. I don't think it was much as much this as much as it was uh, me doing all of that with the orderlies occupying every toilet. So, But we'll see. We're actually starting to get things cleaned up now. Uh, not so much in here anymore. I kind of need... Can we get more people working in here? I have a lot of people in here already, but... If I could have more people work in this, I think I need more sinks. I think I need more sinks. You know what? I think this entire storage room is going is going to go. Uh, I can't do everything because this is a really quick place for them to get their. No, I think this entire storage room is probably going to go. We might actually make this entire thing a kitchen just to give us more sinks, because I don't think we have nearly enough. I mean, I could always, I could always do dump object. No, there is no dump object button. Uh, never mind. I guess I can't. Either way, we're we're actually catering to food better now. Uh, you can see that the number of pe prisoners that have yet to eat is almost matching up with the number of meals we have. At least it's supposed to be. Um, looks like we have another death today. Who is it going to be? Three deaths. If this is. Yeah, our guards can't control this because they don't have their tasers. Guards can't control this as easily anymore. He's weak. Most, Pretty much everyone who's weak just dies. I guess only the strong survive. <laughs> this one has sickness. Outbreaks and sickness. Maybe it's a good thing that you died. Oh, man. You were, like, so close to getting out of here, too. Prisoners prone to violent outbreaks and damaging the environment around them when feeling suppressed and untreated. Prisoners prone to throwing up and soiling himself when feeling suppressed and untreated. Well. Like, he was getting out of here, like, tomorrow. Today. That's a real drag. Alright. Great staff morale now, though. I like it. Now we have people on break. Let's see what they do. Look! They're getting food! It's a Christmas miracle. They're actually going to get food. Now, are you going to stay here? Or are you glitched? Because I know they do sit there after their needs. But um, it got to the point where every sofa seat was all orderlies. And all of this was orderlies. Like, all my orderlies were right here, basically. Um, so I do want to see if this guy ever moves. And then uh, I am going to go and change policy to be like maybe 70 percent 
But I don't think he's going to move. We'll see if he leaves when he leaves break. Because it might be like a two-hour break or something like that. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that guy because I don't think he's going to move. I mean, they just get completely bogged down. Same thing with this guy. These guys are stuck. They won't leave break. They'll stay on break forever. So I have to move them in order for them to go and do things. Real, real shame. They don't get stuck on the benches, though. So part of me actually thinks maybe I should just do benches here instead of the sofas. Um, and possibly it has something to do with the television for the sofa, maybe. I mean, I, I can't really verify what is causing that to happen anyway. But we're fixing bugs. Or at least trying to cope with bugs. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. Down to 27K. Let me see... Uh, programs. Everybody got their tasers back yet? Death row appeal is happening right now. Oh, no room found. For what? Psychiatric consultations? Wait, why? When did that happen? Excuse me? Are these not offices now? They're still offices. Did I fire the, the shrinks too? I didn't mean to do that. Maybe that's why these guys are kicking off. Maybe that's why they're kicking off. I didn't hire the shrinks back. Uh, no, I definitely did. But some of them are tired. Nah, some of them are tired. Wait, that can't be right. That can't be right. It can't be right. I guess it's right. Uh, whoops. Stop it. Yeah, I should be able to have an appointment, like, constantly. Okay, so these two rooms are not... Are, are okay. <sighs> okay, fine. Uh, Death Row Appeal was just underway, and I apparently I think I just canceled it because I rescheduled things. Like, even this guy's got money. 21 bucks. Wait, can't... Oh, man. Wait, can family members give money? That can be a thing, right? Family members can send money, like in the mail? Can't that be a thing? What if I did regular visitation here instead of the booths? Well, then they can give him, like, knives and shit. So that's not going to be good. So that's probably not, not the answer. All right, well... Uh, let's see. Can we do any more logic stuff? Or are we... Is the crisis averted? Is it, is it over? People are actually eating food now. You know? I mean, it, it seems like just the total staff reset was what was necessary. I want to see if the taser certification is done. Okay, so it looks like we only have a few more left to do. 6 a.m. All of you guys. Can we just do this now? It's 2200. Can we just reschedule? No, like edit schedule. Where is guard taser certification? Can we just like, yeah, can we just do this now? Like, can you guys have one there and there and uh, here and here, right? Can we just do this right right now, please? Let's just get certified, huh? Come on. Get yourself certified. Work with tasers, okay? That way, if I can feel like you guys aren't going to die. Because so far, still only five deaths on duty. You know what? I'm thinking we want more people in here all the time. So I want like six people in addition to the patrol routes, which are not screwed. No, not screwed. How about dogs? Did I hire too many dogs? I might have hired... I thought I hired too many dogs when I was clicking. I have 41 dogs now. We can maybe... Instead of saying we have too many dogs, maybe we just give them more patrol routes. Like, they are already covering a large percentage of the prison, but I don't really have... Well, I mean, and some of them are... Got a rest, too, right? Like, there's these guys are all resting. Do we have anybody using this one? This is a better kennel. This one here is really small. 
But it's centrally located, you know? I needed that. Tasers going out. There we go. So that's that's why I had that extra money is because I know the tasers are going out too. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this. So Benjamin still has 16%. I don't think he's going to... Because I just interrupted his thing by rescheduling the program. So I'm thinking he's going to take a little bit longer before he has clemency. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's got an appeal scheduled. At least not right now. Maybe when the day takes over. Because right now this says 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So maybe he'll, maybe he'll do another one then. Um, psychiatric consultations. Does this just cost me $150 per session on all of these? Uh, I don't think I need this many sessions. <laughs> I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them because these guys were fairly dormant before this whole event. And now they're killing each other. So taser certification worked out there. Good. Good. And uh, it looks to me like... Looks to me like everybody's getting their tasers. I like it. Make my guards happy. 238 staff are happy. Wouldn't you know it. As long as you stop glitching. And you have to stay on the orderlies, right? The orderlies, I have to keep paying attention to them. Because if I don't, they will get stuck in here. They will occupy every bathroom. And then the rest of the staff will get pissed. Right? Right? And then the whole cycle starts over again. So I think as far as like logistics and like how I've set the prison up. And, and maybe this is like defending myself before I'm even attacked about it. But I think I set this up really well. Okay. Not my fault. All right. Look, they actually get their freedom need catered to in the yard. Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe I can just give them another yard. Like an indoor yard right here would have been cool actually. Maybe that's what we do. Make this a yard instead of a common room. We could spread them out that way too. If I was to do this as a yard instead of a common room, right? Then these guys might elect to go hang out in this yard instead of this. But then I need people to be here, and I, I don't I want that. I'm giving them adequate amounts of free time. Plus, then I have to manage the door controllers and yard time, and yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, so we'll leave this as a common room for now. All of this is now a common room. Uh, so, in this common room, we want them not to have radios. That's a recipe for disaster, because... Random event, which is currently active, by the way. I, I I have to take all my radios out right now. Let's give them some chairs. And we'll give them uh, a big TV. A big television. Where is it? I swear. If you don't give this to me right now. <laughs> it's not. It'll give me the radio. It gives me the little TV, but not the big one. Why? Oh my god, it's over here. Okay, good, thanks. Uh, like this? That will provide, you know, better places for them to sit. Maybe we just do benches instead of the chairs? I think the chairs are more comfortable though, aren't they? I think they are. I don't actually know that. But. And then, uh, uh, you know, like, I kind of want to just give them, I, I wanted to use like every object that's, that's new in the game. And I've been looking for, like, when can I use that big shower thing? It's, uh, where is it located? Shower pillar. And then just be able to give them a place to take a shower, like, anywhere. Uh, no. I mean, there's another common room here, too. They can go here or they can go here. It doesn't matter to me. I just want to give them a place where they can uh, get their needs met. There's also this cleaning cupboard right here. 
So I made this a cleaning cupboard. I made this area. I extended this to where it was the laundry room now for, for these guys. And uh, and then I turned this into visitation. And it's all of it's not square. So, I mean, this is not a, 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 this is not square. This is all the same room. It's just highlighting it separately, okay? Because they're separated. So the big question I have now is, how do I get these guys to satisfy their luxury needs? Because they have to be able to buy things. And I have a regime slot where we have free time for these guys and work lockup for normal. I think that's my answer. I think I'm going to take... Uh, sorry, not normal. Um, minimum security. So I think what I want to do here... Hmm... Yeah, because these are minimum security people. We can probably get this minimum security slot to not be yard. Maybe move eat time up one. Maybe we do this. Screws up everything in my regime, doesn't it? Yeah, because it makes them go to eat when these guys are in the yard. So that doesn't... That's not going to work for me. Um... Uh, probably maybe maybe here. I mean, they have what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours of sleep right now. So, if I alter this to where this is a thing, then they can cater a shop to these guys. So, how about we take away a couple of cells, like right here? We turn this away and turn this into a shop, so we can dismantle this. Um. But then this whole hallway here to get to these cells, they have to go around. I mean, they can technically go. Technically, they can go through the shop. It's just like they're gonna grab things on their way out and stuff. Uh, we'll just have to have metal detectors. It'll be fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that wall. Demolish, demolish this. Demolish this. Um, no, just this. And then all the objects need to be dismantled as well. So get them to dismantle all of this stuff. And then these are no longer going to be cells, of course. So they're removed. Thankfully, no gangs in these cells. We have some commotion happening. Thankfully, orderly's on top of it now. Very safe prison we have now. Only 66 prisoners have serious complaints. Five staff have serious complaints. You know what? It's probably... You, and you, and you're actually fine, but you're stuck. You, and maybe the snipers at this point. Freedom is getting taken care of a little bit more. This is easy. Piece of cake. All right. All right. With this stuff out of here, again, I don't know why you insist on trying to go through a door when it is not, like, it's go around the door. Demolished. Dismantle. We really need shortcuts for this stuff, guys. Prison architect team, come on. We need shortcuts for this. You know? Shortcuts for dismantle. Shortcuts for dump. You're giving us shortcuts for a lot of other games. Or right? most of your other games, Paradox. You all have stuff. I know you're not the developer, you're the publisher, but you got a say, all right? Get this thing up to your standards. Let's go. Um, how about we... Yeah, just put it in this wall. So, is it gonna be square? Uh, no. <laughs> there, it's not square now. Happy. Uh, and then, down here like this. Okay, so then we want to do is we want to put a shop shelf. Just go ahead and make this a shop really quick. We want to put... Well, a couple of things. We're going to need metal detection. For sure. Because they're moving through this. So, we're going to do a metal detector here. And here. And uh, we'll do one here. And uh, that's probably fine. I don't want to stick it past this door. Uh, then we're going to do a door. Here. And here. And then the shop shelf. It needs to be bordering a room. Is what it said. So... If we take the common room, which has no requirements at all, 
and we make this common room right here, technically the shop will now border a room. So it will function. Shop front will go right here in the middle. And then we want shelves in the back. One, two, three. Good enough. And now they can buy luxuries from this. We'll put wall lights in here because uh, we can. That should be good right there. All right. So we can have people working in this shop. And again, these guys all want to go somewhere. Where do they want to go? Who? Phoning family. Again, I don't see why you can't just use these phones to phone your family. I don't I don't get it. Did we ever hook these up to a phone thing? I don't think we ever did. Also, I think mail's busted now. Damn it! I had to bust mail. That sucks. Oh, this needs a table. Uh, we can put a little one, right? Right here. Or right here. Let's put it right there. Screw it. We'll put two tables. Uh, what else? Adjacent to a room. We're doing that. Shop shelf. Yep. Okay. So let's get all of this done, please. Now, what electrical line is that going to be on? Looks like it's going to be on this line, which is the same as the... Sh okay, so this is going to get hit a little harder now. Not a big deal, though. Because this one is... Like, it's going to max to here before it blows. So, I think we can afford three more metal detectors, though. I think maybe it'll... It'll be close. It'll be close. We might have to... We might have to switch this on a timer. Ooh, hey. Logic, huh? What do you think? Logic circuit, huh? Logic bridge. Carry the signal to this. What if we put the circuit here like this? If I put you here, I'm gonna try this out. See what this does. Actually, we could just do a door controller. Maybe the door controller would be better for this. I don't think this is gonna happen. Maybe the door controller would be better for this. So, we want to connect that to this. And then what we want to do... Yeah, we, I think we need the door controller for this. Um, That's kind of a misconception. Uh, the door timer, it's not really a door timer. It's just a general timer. Like, it, it just works like a timer anyway. So, like, it, the reason they call it... I don't know why they call it a door timer, because it works for a lot of different things, not just doors. So what we could do, put the door timer here. So this is an and right now. If I change this to... Mm. Interesting. Maybe that's not, maybe it's the bridge we want. Use to broadcast common signal around your prison. Maybe this is what I want. Is this what I want? The bridge? Instead? I think it's not the switch. I think the switch we want to dismantle. And we want to put a bridge here instead, I think. Although, having this is still a good thing. Because we allow... Okay, here's what I'm going to do instead. Let's keep that where it is. Uh, don't. Please don't dismantle that. Um, move you here. I'm going to try something different here. So, we'll shift you here, here. Move this over. And then we'll have the logic bridge here. I think how this works, and I'm not... I'm probably mistaken, but I think how this works... Uh, whoops. Hang on. Just making sure we're not getting into trouble here. It's like we're fine. We got we got tasers now, so we're totally fine. Programs. Let me make sure we're not wasting money on that now. Uh, taser certification. Okay. We will go ahead and just leave one session open in case we hire more guards, which we might do. Actually, we will do because we have people locked down. So we'll get more guards. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six more guards. 
should open up a little bit and then maybe we do 67 66 percent breaks orderlies hi get out of the toilet please all right so what i want to do here i think if my workmen ever get on this what is going on here where are you coming from like what in the hell Why are you coming from way outside? Like, the furthest possible point. What are you doing? Excuse me? Like, where are you going? All right, here's what we need. This area right here. This is low sec, right? Yeah. This area, I need a door. I need a door uh, there and a staff door here. I need these installed along with a fence here, here, and barbed wire on that fence. And I need that done quickly, please. I need you guys to be able to get back in this prison without having to go my way around. I don't know why the game chose the furthest possible workman to do this job. Look at this. Where, what is he doing? He was just over here. Why do we have to wait for that guy to do it? Mayor, I swear to God, if you jump a bunch of prisoners on me, I'm going to be all pissed off. <laughs> Moved on to something else. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be all pissed off. <laughs> Uh, where's uh, yard, 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 yard. Here it is. Go like this. And go like this. There. That's a yard again. And that's it. So, welcome. You have your, you have your stuff back. Good for you. Sniper, get out of the tower. We're just waiting for you. <clears throat> They're not smart enough. Like the AI for the for the staff are just not smart enough to do what I am telling them to do. Look at this. Like this is unacceptable. These workmen coming from clear across the map. Why? <laughs> Especially since this stuff is undoubtedly delivered on a truck. It should be right here. So why are you guys way over here holding it, you know? All right, logic bridge is done. Let's connect that to it says it connects to an electrical cable on the same tile, right? Isn't that what it said? I've never used the bridges before. I've, I've used a little bit of these, uh, and almost always I'm using door timers. Whenever I do any automation stuff in the past, it's always been door timers. Which door timers work. Okay, let's clear all the connections. So this door timer is going to it's going to say any security doesn't matter because we're going to look for any security level that has a work time we're going to open it and if no security level has work time so between seven and ten it's off it's off at four o'clock should also be off at eight o'clock and 11 p.m. as well. And then between 2 and 4, it's also off. So this will keep it off for a while. So any security level, it's open if it's one of these, but it's closed any other time. Okay? Then, uh, somehow we have to provide power to that because it's not hooked up to that already. Hook it up direct. Uh, and then we're going to connect you to you. Okay. You are going to be... Um, you're going to be... Equals, I think, right? What's, what regime is it right now? It's a work time. Not an and. It's... It's this one, I think. It's a not or... I thought equals is what I wanted. No, I wanted equals. I do, I do. I, equals is what I thought. Okay, they, you're going to connect to this. Now, my hope is that when this tells this to work, 
It will send a signal to this logic bridge, which will either allow power through it or not, and then it will either allow power to pass into here or it, or it won't. That's what I'm thinking right now. So if it shuts power off to this, then this doesn't get power. Then we also have the emergency shutoff, which is ahead of this, which we can shut the power off for everything else if we want to. At least that's what I was thinking. Now this is red now, and I'm not sure why. Mm, not sure why that's red. Like the whole pot. I know why this is red, because the, the signal's active. But we can test this, I guess, by going like this. Does this stuff lose power? So it's not working the way I thought it was. I wonder if you can shut the switch off, though. Are you able to do that? You are. So you shut the... So I don't need the bridge. Equals. So you... Okay, so I don't need the bridge. So this does work the way I thought it did. Let's let's get rid of the bridge. So this this actually does work with this. So this is all set up now. It's ready to rock. So anytime there's any any security level at all has a work time slot, this will engage. All right. Now what we could do also is if I wanted to, I could route this power differently to where each security section had its own shutoff, and then the machines for the individual security levels will all turn on in an automated way so that I don't have to worry about it. And then there's, of course, the master shutoff where they all come in, and I can shut the whole thing down if I need to. But this should work out really well. So uh, looks like right here at 8 p.m., we should see uh, in, a, in 30 in-game minutes, we should see... The whole workshop, everything shut down at at, uh, at 8 o'clock. So let's see. Okay, so it didn't shut down. The logic circuit did not send the signal here. It didn't send it. Um, hang on. Why don't we just do this? Why do we need this at all? Dismantle that. I think I might need that at some point, but why don't I just connect these two together? I mean, there's no reason to do that, right? This is this isn't this isn't necessary. So at uh, let's see, so at 9 p.m. it should turn on because this isn't in between it anymore. This is a direct connection now. So at 9 p.m. it should all turn back on. There it goes. Okay. So I'm just being stupid. There it goes. Now it works. You're you're over yeah, overthinking it. Needs to be simpler. There it is. Okay, good. Everything's fine. Check out staff. Get out of my bathroom. You stop sitting on the couch. Uh who else? 100 percent Good. 145 staff love their jobs. Good, and we have all the tasers done, and we are still profitable. So, crisis averted, albeit extremely expensive, and I did have to edit the save file to give myself some more money. Um, but I'm at least, you know, I think it was justified. It fixed the problem. And we might be able to move some of these toilets if some of these guys move and are not gang members now. Huh? Huh? Move some of them? Hey, you're not gang member. Oh, wait, what? What? Wait. The bookshelf is... Uh, I don't know about that. Do I have bookshelves on showers now? Okay. Well, that makes so much sense. Hey, okay. They are waterproof bookshelves. Okay. <laughs> you ever heard of waterproof bookshelves before? What do you live under a rock? Uh, so we'll move a few of these at a time. Not a, not everything, just a few. And we'll keep getting them sorted out that way. And then I'm really tempted to let this guy have regular visitation. He's had, uh, what is it? Five days without incident. I don't know if you know what he did. 
He hasn't been in here. He's been here longer than five days, hasn't he? I think so. 14 days in my prison. So he... Oh, he destructed some property. Okay. But I feel like if we can if we can cater to his freedom need a little bit more and his luck and luxuries and stuff, I, I think it'll, it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. Maybe we make this his yard. A little yard here, maybe. I don't know. He doesn't have anything fun to do. Not like these guys do. I like this just this big open area, though. This shop should be functional. So I want to see it work. Let's make sure people are working in there. Two people working. One to run the front. One to stock shelves. All right. I want to see people working in here. And then our daily cash flow is going down. I think that's because we've had a lot of early prisoner releases. And I haven't replaced them. Because I've been managing that stuff. Look at this. We're only at 13 low risk now. 22 normals. So we have a lot of cells available. Lots of cells. So big intake. I'm going to take, let's say, I don't know, 40 low security. Let's take 20 medium security. And we'll take 10 of the others. So that leaves me with, what, 80? I think 80 prisoners. And then we go like, should be this, this, and this. I believe is my ratio, something like that. 10 here. I wish it would tell me individual numbers on a hover so I didn't have to count them. I think they're 10 in a row, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I can see 39. And then I'm taking 30 minimum normal. So I want to go like this, actually. And then this ratio needs to come up. Which also removes them from here. It, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't, I don't think. Yeah, we're just going to go like this. We can take more than 10 of these guys. Let's just go like this. We might get a gang leader. You know what? Give me that prisoner transfer, too. Why not? <laughs> Let's do that prisoner transfer with an exclamation point. <laughs> you guys have been wanting it, so there you go. Prisoner transfer. It's happening. I don't know what to expect by this thing, but I'm getting 15,000 for that. It's probably the gang leader. Let's see. Look, right here. See? There's no reason for this equipment to be on, and therefore it is off. Huh? Uh, we want lights in here, though. I think I want to at least keep the lights on. We can put some wall lights in here just to kind of keep it illuminated. Right? Keep the... Um, make it so it's not so dark in here. I don't really care how spaced out they are. All right, that should at least keep the lights on somewhat. Yeah. And then... Because the wall lights don't take power. Kitchen is looking good. This stuff is still messy, but... What are you going to do? I mean, I have more than enough cooks. They're standing around doing nothing instead of, instead of washing dishes, so... What are you going to do? I don't think you need the sink in this room for them to use it, right? We can test that, too. We can, dis we can dismantle this. And we can uh, dismantle that table if I can ever click on it. And then this bench. Right? And then uh, we can take and add a sink right here. Make sure it's got water. Make sure it's got hot water. It, it does. And then, like, we'll see if they... Uh, we'll see if they wash dishes in here. I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. We'll see. It's worth a try. Coming in. Power's on. Door timers. Useful for more than just doors. And we have a big intake. What's the the take from this? 51 grand. That 
<laughs> Wait, can we take any criminally insane? Yeah, we can take, like, maybe five of them. Maybe, maybe a few more. Let's do that. And, like, that. Okay. Rock and roll. So a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do Supermax only prison. And uh, I might do that. I might do it uh, after this one. I am going to take a break from Prison Architect after this. And uh, we're going to do Academia after this. Uh, we'll replace replace Prison Architect with Academia. Uh, the cool thing, if you haven't seen Academia, I, I've been playing around with it. Like, I'm, I'm going to be mostly blind to it when we play. But um, I have been playing around with it a little bit just to kind of see how it feels. And it has a lot of a very similar feel to Prison Architect. Uh, and you can actually make the uniforms for the kids um because basically it, it's it's like a it's like a it's like prison architect except instead of a prison you're making a high school so you have all the things that go in with you know managing a high school you have freshman sophomore junior senior instead of the security levels you have the grade levels uh and then you have to manage you know you have different teachers for different subjects and it gets pretty in depth uh you also have after school programs track and field the sports programs all that kind of stuff too um but the uh it has it has a lot of similar feel to prison architect but one thing is you have you can have you can choose to have school uniforms and every kid has to wear their uniforms and one of the uniforms is a prison outfit so we could have like a juvenile de like facility like a, this is a juvenile detention school place <laughs> kind of thing i don't know uh yeah that's a possibility so we have prisoner transfers done let's go ahead and just put this at one per day lock all of these down and make sure that only uh hi so yeah, when there's zero prisoners to transfer, it does say unavailable. So that pretty much takes care of that question that I had. Um, we're going to leave this open in case there's any death row. But we're going to also see what we're going to get ourselves into here regarding our prisoner transfer. So let's have the uh, the prisoner buses come on in. We have ex-law enforcement. We need to make sure he is well taken care of. Right here. Let's get him in protective custody. Uh, so far, nothing extraordinary about these ones, but this is the minimum security. These aren't, these aren't all that, all that dangerous anyway, right? It's not until we start getting to the next bus, then we start getting a bit more fearsome. Still, nobody significant. Okay, we're starting to get question marks here. Let's go ahead and grab one of our informants. They're all criminally insane. All of our dependable informants are criminally insane. Isn't that nice? We'll grab Sean here. And get him to tell us some things about our our prisoners that are coming in. Stoical, deadly, all these things. Uh, got no gang leaders yet. Got no gang leaders. Yeah, I said that. That's how I talk now, I guess. Early prisoner releases are a thing still. Good. Come on. Show me the question marks. Where's my informant? He's in there. Show me. That guy is the problem. Is he a gang leader? He certainly is. Red leader's in the house. I repeat. Red leader is in the house. We have ex-law enforcement. Several instances of it here. So we'll go protective there. Uh, you are... The, I think it's you, right? Yes, it's you. So you are protective custody too. You are ex-law enforcement. You're going protective custody as well. You are ex-law enforcement? Yes. So you're going protective custody too. And then this guy. Extremely volatile. Extremely deadly. What is the deal with these traits, man? Why? Why? Why is it always extremely volatile and extremely deadly? They, that combination needs to be banned from gang leaders. I swear to God. It needs to be... Uh, it is, this combination cannot exist. Super Maxim. Don't let him recruit. Super Maxim. All day. You can go play with the other guy. Okay, let's keep make sure we have... 
Everyone, whoa. Maybe he was the transfer. I, maybe I should have done the transfer in a separate intake so I could have really got a good idea of what kinds of prisoners are transferred. Why am I not seeing this guy? Is he not? Oh, he's not active anymore. Um, get uh, this, one, this one instead. I trust my guards are taking care of that situation. At least I hope they are. I still have this question mark, and I want to learn more about him. Felix Merwood. Perhaps he's the one that's the transfer. I don't know. It's probably this guy. 15,000 bucks for the intake. It's probably him. All right. We got ex-law enforcement there. Okay. You are legendary too, though. Maybe it's you. Wait. That can't be right. Yeah. It totally is, though. <laughs> extremely volatile. Extremely deadly. Cop killer. Great. Great. Super Maxim. Well, Super Max is about to get a lot more fun, isn't it? Oh boy, I can't wait for my costs to go up through the roof. Come on back for the next one, guys. Looks like we got everything sorted out, uh, mostly. Orderlies still stuck on the toilet. Uh, can I? Hi. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. And you're stuck on the sofa, probably, so let's get you done. All right. I'm going to leave it here. And uh, I think we've solved a lot of things, and I'm going to start trying to segregate this a bit more with these door controller systems and stuff. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. I was only trying to set this up with that gate because I didn't think that this could be done automat automated. I thought it had to be manual, but it doesn't. So, all right, I'm out of here. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.